Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. In this video we will discuss how we created our kitchen that we have shared with you in our latest demo video and we'll discuss a few modeling techniques and along with how we created the stainless steel textures and how we also added a GIF image inside Unreal Engine using a free plugin available on Epic Marketplace. So let's get started. So inside Blender in our project example over here, let's start modeling the kitchen by putting out the basic layout on the floor. So I'm gonna start by dragging my 3D cursor to this corner, shift add a single vertex and in vertex mode extrude it to the end of the wall side and edge mode let's select that edge and extrude it on the Y axis up to the other wall corner and all the way to the end and let's extrude it also on the X axis up to that level. Now we can select the base and the walls, isolate them so we can freely focus on them and edge mode again let's divide this into five parts and this one Control R divided into four parts. When you start modeling kitchen for Unreal Engine, it's always recommended to minimize the overlap faces as much as possible. So I'm gonna select these edges and Control B to 0.005 for example, and deattach them by pressing on P and the selection. Now these faces gonna represent the the panels that will separate. The kitchen base so I'm, I'm gonna select them all by pressing a and face mode extrude let's say for example to 0.70 now let's start by modeling the cabin panel now I'm gonna select this edge from the base and shift D to make a copy and P to separate it and select that base now select that edge now on edge mode let's extrude it up to the end now we want to extend the cabin panel up to the middle of this part. And as we did before, we need to set the middle point between two, these two vertex. This can be done by the BDT add-on. So if you didn't add this, you, you can go to the edit preferences. And this is an add-on that comes by default with Blender once you install it. So BDT, precision modeling tools. And then inside the design operations, Selecting these two vertex and then make sure that you have set the distance to 50% click here and we have our 3d cursor at this point Now we're gonna add a single vertex just as a reference select our cabin panel and Let's move it by pressing G on the y-axis and here we now select the panel a extrude it on the x-axis let's say for example to 0.1 centimeter now the kitchen panel have a chamfered edge so I'm gonna select this face go to the edge mode and then control B again now let's chamfer it up to this point let's give it a value for example of 6 so this is the main kitchen panel that we're gonna make a copy of it on the other side so we're gonna extend it also on this side as well all right so now we can make a copy of this shift D dragging on the y-axis and let's move it over here now our target is to create an interactive kitchen cabins that we can open inside Unreal Engine. So let's put the pivot point of this cabin to this, to this corner. So I'm going to put the 3D cursor and then object set origin to 3D cursor. So this will help us once we have our object inside Unreal Engine ready to move on this direction. So. Next, let's create the handle. Bring the 3D cursor over here. And let's create a circle. And let's make the radius to 0.005, for example. 
zoom in on it and I think this is enough let's just make sure that we don't have any faces so selecting the edges extrude this it's a 0.70 the cabin so I'm, I'm gonna make this for example around 0.5 let's move it up by 0.1 and now an interesting feature inside blender when we want to close the open end of this cylinder we have the option of either create a cap just by pressing f but it's not really recommended to keep this face open like that without connecting these vertices so instead of that, we can select all the vertex and go Ctrl F and select Grid Fill. Now the Grid Fill will connect all of these vertex and create a four side face topology, which is what we need. Now in the edge mode, let's select all the edges, pressing Alt and Shift if the selection does not continue and Ctrl B to start creating that chamfer part. Let's minimize a little bit. And then once we're done, let's right click and create and add a shade smooth. So if we disable the wireframe visibility, we now have a chamfer edge, which is what we need. So continuing with this, with the same basic technique, we're going to continue creating the rest of the kitchen cabinet that we have there. So after we follow the same technique, we finished modeling the rest of the kitchen. We have the fridge over here and the remaining parts of the kitchen cabinets. Also, we did a simple kitchen oven appliances model based on IKEA products references. Now let's create the kitchen faucet as it contains some of the interesting modeling techniques also in Blender. So in top view, Let's add a simple circle. I'm going to bring also an image reference or a, a kitchen faucet also by IKEA. So in edit mode, let's extrude this for example 0.10 centimeters. And now what we need to create is this part basically. So I'm going to go into isolation mode front and then I'm going to use a knife by going to the edit mode and pressing on K. So the knife will help me actually divide the shape to a, a specific angle. So right now, if I divide it, it will divide only half of the part. So to avoid that, I'm gonna press on C to make sure that it will divide the other part as well. So going into front mode, Let's divide it by this amount, pressing C, enter, and then again, K. Let's pick it from this point, and then C again to this amount, for example. Enter. Okay, so I'm going to choose these faces, and then we can extrude it on the X axis at this Now we need to bring these, all of these vertex to the same value on the x-axis. So I'm gonna press S to scale it and by pressing again X, then make sure that the value is set to zero. Now we need also to make sure that it's a circle in case the shape is a little bit semicircle. And we can do that by pressing F3, then to sphere. Then drag up to a factor of one and it will become perfect circle. Now let's insert this shape by a very small amount, then extrude it out again. So following again the same technique, let's bevel this edge a very small amount. Same goes here also as well. Make sure that all of your edges are smooth. This will give you nice effect 
when you make a closer look on these parts and this part as well now let's continue the remaining part by selecting edge mode Control e extrude edges alt s to extrude it internally and you can keep it at this amount now we're gonna go to the other view which is this one and then let's extrude this again by 10 centimeters and let's bring the spin tool on this side to create the half of the circle of this shape so in x direction I'm gonna drag this and make sure I have enough steps and then again before we close the shape let's also control E extrude the edges alt s internally going by number three to the same view again using the spin tool let's just extrude a little bit outside minimize the steps for example to three okay and again control e extrude edges inside then we just need to add this part and after that we're gonna shade smooth the model so after we finish that we need also to unwrap our objects so we can texture them correctly inside pixel mixer now for the catching faucet I'm gonna select this edge and then right click mark seam so when we unwrap this going to the UV editor let's select all of the faces to avoid selecting the other part of the model that we have separated by the seam, just disable the UV sync selection. So when we select this, let's bring it over here. See, let's select all the parts, keep this over here. Now I'm gonna select this part, bring it here and scale it down a little bit. Now you can notice that the shapes or the polygon faces are not on the same direction and we need them to we need to stride them up so they can go into the same direction we can do that easily by going into edit mode edge right click or align auto and it will align it to the axis to make it that will align it then we're gonna select this face by pressing 3 then pressing L right click follow active quad so all of your faces now are going to the same direction and this is useful inside Quixel Mixer when you have a texture that have been added as a second layer on top of the silver or the metal material to add a texture on top of it so this part as well that's a rabbit and bring it here so it seems like we need also to separate this part and unwrap it bring it here let's bring this part Pressing G, rotate it to 90 degrees, and let's select one of the faces, edges, and right click align auto. Same goes here. Press 3, face, then L, right click, follow active shape. So now we can put it over here, and this one is fine, we can keep it as it is. And then if we have all the parts filling our unwrapped texture the same goes for the rest of the parts as well 
Now we're gonna send the kitchen to Quixel Mixer by exporting as a OBG and start texturing our model over there. So we'll start by adding a metal material which is called brushed steel. Once you add this, let's make our roughness to perfect black and the metalness make sure it's white and if there is any textures we're gonna need to place it as a tile based on our UVs so you can see now that we have a nice stainless steel look on this object we can also add some details like the brushed aluminium on top of it let's make this as a tiling let's increase the UVs a little bit make the metalness again let's rotate the texture to 90 degrees and also let's change the color a little bit to perfect white bring it down a little bit for the opacity now now let's add a smart scratch material as nothing is ever cleaned in real life even if it's new so I'm gonna go to smart material and then let's change our mask add another one make sure it's curvature and and make it edge and cavities and as the sun, we can start to see now this color effect on the edges you can increase it by playing with the level amount here and also we can control a little bit the tightness so I'm gonna change the color just make sure that the tiling is selected in the placement and let's make it dark as much as possible and this should be enough now for the other part of our kitchen also like the sink for example we followed the same technique and we added a stainless steel a stainless steel material with a texture on top of it so this is a brushed steel with a brushed aluminium texture that we have played with the placement tiling and also with the metalness and roughness color and the rest of our objects have been done the same way we did in our previous tutorial applying the wood texture on top of them so this is what we wanted to share with you in the quixel mixer let's go back to blender to put the final touches on top of our model after we finished modeling all the other parts and texture it like the chair over here that was creating using a single vertex that we extracted vertically and then convert it into a curve shape and add a thickness after adding some smoothness on the corner nothing really special about it and also added a simple texture by getting also a model from ikea and painting this texture inside photoshop to have a higher resolution the interesting part that we want to share with you here is the timer that we have added in our in our demo video that you have seen this is basically just a number by adding another texture without these dots and then what we did is we used these two images inside blender video editing which by the way an interesting tool to be used as well and made our time frame to 20 frame if you can see as you can see it represent the timer movement we've extruded this to a video file then we went to easy gif.com and we uploaded our file and converted it immediately this is free by the way so after downloading the file created this simple gif image that we will import inside our engine using a plugin that will enable this process so let's go to unreal engine and see how we achieved all of that together so after we have imported our model inside unreal engine using datasmith from blender now let's review our 
textures that we have created for our kitchen parts I'm gonna go into camera 2 and this is the stainless steel material for the kitchen faucet so I'm gonna double click and drag the material over here let's delete this so we have our albedo channel and the metalness the roughness and the normal all what we did is just connect each texture as we did in our previous tutorials to a scalar parameter with a multiplier and for the normal we just connected that for a flat with a flat and normal with a scalar parameter and a multiply now the main point is when you apply a metal material inside unreal engine make sure that you push the metal scalar parameter to a higher value because if we go for example to point one you can see now that we cannot achieve that much of metal even if we put the roughness scalar parameter to 0.01 for example to a less value we still cannot get that look of the stainless steel so let's push again the metal to a value of 3 and we can bring the roughness to 0.05 for example now this will help us achieve a better look for the stainless steel the next thing we need to talk about is the GIF texture that we have created so if we go to camera to camera one we can see now that the GIF texture that we have imported successfully have been applied to that surface and we managed to create this that the oven is timer is running in real time so when you try to import the GIF texture inside your project it will show an error because there is a plugin that need to be activated to be able to import a GIF texture. This plugin is available on the Epic Games Marketplace for free. Once you open the link that is available in the description, just go to the documentation, the GitHub of this plugin, and you'll find a link that have been provided by the developer. You'll find the link provided by Neil the plugin developer available also for Unreal Engine 5 once you click here go to code download the zip file once you download it you'll find a project file double click it and it will ask you to confirm if you approve to rebuild the plugin to fit the Unreal Engine 5 I think the plugin was developed for the early release of Unreal Engine 5 once you rebuild it it will run successfully and all you need to do is to go to plugins copy the folder animate texture plugin go to your unreal engine 5 and inside the plugins paste and then inside unreal engine go to plugins just type anim and then activate the plugin and of course it will require a restart import your gif image and all what you need to do is just create the material and just apply a metal specular roughness to the material and apply it to the specific object so again this is running with lumen only there is no ray trace let's go into game mode and this is basically the whole idea about applying the texture and the materials to the objects that we have created for our kitchen part so thank you very much for watching and again if you have any questions please share it down in the comments hope you guys like this video and see you in the next one